Hey everyone, so we're going to do something a little bit differently today. Uh, we're going to try something that my good friend Ryan over at RNA Music over in Texas uh, started with his channel and I think it's a great idea. Uh, so I'm going to show you a day in the life of what it is to be me. So we're going to start very beginning, very early morning of the day, go all the way through. So at the moment I'm working on about four different projects. So this day in the life video is going to be dedicated to just one of those parts and that is YouTube, my YouTube work. So I'll show you exactly what my rundown of a normal day is if it's going to be a YouTube day where I work on videos and content. All right, let's dive into it. Good morning, guys. So the first thing I do is get up nice and early before the day begins, before there's enough cars on the road to get in the way and head straight to the gym. Uh, and it's not at all that I want to be some Hulk-like superhuman monster. It's, uh, it's just because I like to eat. I like to eat a lot. And um, if I don't go to the gym, I'll become very round uh, very quickly. And once breakfast is over, some bacon and eggs, then um, it's straight into guitar practice and so I know that before my day even starts even though it's super early it's like 6 a.m. here now even though that um, before my day even starts I know that just accomplishing those two things fitness and solid guitar practice uninterrupted solid hour that I know that whatever else happens in my day at least I've done those things and I've accomplished something and I'm putting time into moving forward and you know who knows what else like will go on in my day like you know, maybe I'll be working somewhere, maybe I'll be working with other people, business meetings, or whatever I'm doing. So I could always, you know, maybe fit in some more practice, definitely, you know, and some healthy eating and fit in all my meals. But if it's a really crazy day, and I've got a 10, 12 hour day, then this may be the only solid work I, I can do for the whole day. And so I've got to just make sure that, um, that I start the day off right. Uh, it's really important. So it all starts by going to my Google Drive. If you don't have a Google Drive and you use multiple computers, go get one. It's free and it's a great way of having documents that you can work on over any other computer. So it was so good, like if I want to work on a document at work, at home, when I used to go to uni, any of those things, it's fantastic. Anyway, so it all comes down to this document that I've got on my Google Drive. Now, here it is, next YouTube videos. Now, it's all in here, okay? Now, unfortunately, I can't really show you. As you can see, everything's blurred. Now, the reason why everything's blurred is I don't want to give anything away. And there's a few videos that I'm unsure about. I'm unsure if I'll have time or I'm unsure if I have the other people involved. So I don't want to sort of make any promises that I'm not going to be able to keep. But as you can see, there's a long, long list of videos, okay? Each video takes a few hours and we go through a few videos a week. As you can imagine, there's a lot of work to be done, okay? There's a lot of videos. There's the order. So all I do is I go bang, alrighty, what's the next video in the order? Once I've got that order, that's it. It's done. I just simply choose that video and I make it. Nice and simple, yeah? Alright guys, this is really all that I have, okay? I'm just, it's just me here, sitting in front of a black backdrop. My awesome MI Audio custom amp next to me. That's it. If you guys have been following me for a little while, you remember that I used to use whiteboards and other lights and Crazy stuff, never really worked. I had to write them in by hand. People couldn't read my handwriting. It was the worst. Now all I do is simply shoot this black backdrop as it is, and then put up text here, 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 wherever. So much easier, I can just program in the text much, much easier. There's probably two cool things about my rig, I reckon that maybe separate it from a few others. One, so much fun, I've got a little monitor here, and all it is is a Nexus 7 tablet just connected via a USB cable. That's great, that lets me monitor what I'm viewing just there on the screen. If I need to adjust focusing, I can just reach out and do that, that's all good. And the other cool thing is, as you'll see here, is my pirate rig of an iRig guitar preamp, okay? Here's a preamp here. Now this preamp is actually meant for you to put your guitar 
or your microphone signal into your iPad or Android phone or tablet or iPhone, any of that stuff. That's what it's meant for. But what I've got it used for is to take this signal from this giant Rode video mic on top of my camera all the way through, get boosted by a 9 volt battery and then back into the camera. Now the cool thing that that does is I'll show you, it just boosts the signal, meaning I get much bigger output, much cleaner response and less noise floor. So let's check that out right now. So at the moment, you're hearing me with the iRig preamp. Let's check it out without. Now it's the same, all I've done is disconnect the wires there and now just the video mic is running straight into the camera. As you can hear a lot more noise. Uh, I had to boost the volume just to get it to a usable level and that's created a lot more noise. So let's go back and see what it's like. And now we're back using my iRig preamp as a boost. As you can hear, it sounds much better, much clearer, less noise floor, so much better. Now, if you own a digital SLR like me or a big hefty camera, yeah, a lot of manual features and cool stuff, if you want to buy a preamp for audio, it costs maybe three, four hundred bucks, five hundred, a thousand, it's a lot of money. Whereas this guitar preamp, fifty bucks. And for the little cables and accessories, I think there's an extra five or ten dollars. So good. So all of that has, has really, really helped my audio. But that's really, that's my camera setup. I've got the one big light. Otherwise, if it's a nice day outside, I can just open the blind, let some natural light in. That's it. Okay, so one of the first things I do when I start editing my video here is I go into color correction and I pull down these shadows, the contrast there. It just makes the background a little bit blacker. Now, I do a lot more color editing and sort of boosting and cutting where I think uh, need be, but that was just a quick idea just to show you uh, what it's like and how I get that black curtain that's behind me to look uh, like a black backdrop. Just cut the shadows nice and easy. All right, so just having a look here, I've made an error, so I just make a quick cut delete and it's gone now pretty much this is a lot of my editing as you know from all my videos I talk a lot so a lot of my editing is purely watching myself as I go talk 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 very very boring yeah, yeah. so you get the idea a lot of talking and then if I've got an error somewhere or I've repeated something or sometimes even you know I'll say a wrong note or whatever the case may be I just make a cut and chances are during the day I've realized, and then it's that easy. I just work out exactly like I'm doing now, where I started to fall off the rails and stop it as soon as I've worked out exactly where. Make a cut, make another cut where I come in back on this on the right topic and join it up. And it's pretty seamless. It's not too bad there. So that's sometimes something that can happen when I'm filming my videos is purely I just go off the rails. I just get excited about something that's, you know, nothing to do with what we're talking about or, you know, I have a very long winded way of explaining something. And so I work out eh, it doesn't need to be that long. I'm sure I could probably shorten it. But this, yeah, this is pretty much it. It's just me going through the video and just making little cuts here and there, making sh things uh, nice and tight and as short as possible. That's a big thing. Trying really not to have a long-winded video and a long runtime. Really, if you ever see a long video of mine, then really it's all important stuff and I didn't feel the need that I need to cut anything out. Making more incisions as we go, just tightening things up. Working out here where I can get back on track here. Once I'm all done, I make everything one clip, then I bounce it out, boost up the sound, make sure the sound's nice and loud there, and that's pretty much it, a whole lot of editing. So honestly, that is it, that's all of my editing. It just takes a long time to watch myself, make little cuts, and then write in the text afterwards. There's really not that much to it, but that was a editing day. And now that all my editing's done, as you can see, I've decided I'm gonna take a break. All the editing's done, the video is uploaded onto YouTube, everything's done, tick those boxes, and as you can see, I head into the beautiful city. So this was really cool, over a month uh, throughout Melbourne, there was all these different painted pianos uh, all throughout Melbourne, this is one of the botanical gardens there. So stunning, so even though, you know, even though I'm not the best piano player, I'm only learning the instrument now, still have a lot of fun, and you know, what's the point of working so hard if you can't take a little break, yeah? Just enjoy the weather, get out there and play some piano. Lots of fun. It was a lot of fun. We had um, a, a little crowd there while we were jamming out. I brought my guitar as well. And it was just fun playing together. You know, that's what music's all about. Meeting other musicians, playing together, and you know, singing a song and playing a song together. That's great. Yeah.
Well, thanks for sticking around, guys. That was part one uh, of the Day in the Life video, and this was mainly my work with YouTube, and the other parts will be completely different and just different days of my normal week. And uh, did you like this video? What did you like about it? Did you want more information, too much information? Comment below and uh, let me know. And if you want to see more, you want to learn guitar with me, then click subscribe to see more. We'll see you again. Bye.